What's going on, makers? Time for another video on my Probe XL 4030. Um, I've had a few people mention to me on Facebook and underneath my last video. Evidently, on the stock spindle, if you get the correct call it, you can put quarter inch bits in here. I didn't realize that. And I do have some from my MPCNC a few years ago. I can't find them, but I do have a bunch of other call it. So it might be possible, like I was told, that you can put quarter inch bits in a smaller spindle. But like I said, I use a Makita to my other one. I like more power. My MPC and CA stab, I had a Makita router. Then this one, I went with a Jimitsu router, which was just like the same the Makita. So I stand corrected. It appears that you can use quarter-inch bits, bits on these spindles, but they're limited on their RPM. So if you want some of the more power, you might need to upgrade. But this is a very quiet unit, and with the one video that I did, it worked perfectly fine. But now I've got more... Uh, Material here glued together. We're going to do another eagle. It's going to be a 12 inch circle. I'm going to use my blue tape and uh, super glue method to hold it down and we'll get going. So we'll change the camera angle and we'll get going right now. Like, subscribe, and share. Really appreciate it, guys. I'm trying to grow my channel and with you guys, I can do that. Thank you. It'll be a 12 inch circle right in the middle. So I don't have room to clamp it, but I can go ahead and uh, tape it down and waste more tape. I need to get some wider blue tape. This stuff's real narrow. I like the wider stuff. I want to use it. Alrighty, I've got it all done. I had to take my scroll, <laughs> my scroll saw again and cut it out and then sand it. And I cut into it in two places. I nicked the edge and kind of damaged it. So it needs a little bit of putty. And yeah, I got to get my settings right. I wanted my clearing pass to cut it out and it didn't. It got really super close, but it didn't cut it out. It's not quite what I wanted. I'm learning. I'm getting there. Carpco Maker is new to me. I'm learning. I did get a little bit of chatter on my finishing pass. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it there. I did get a little bit of chatter. So on my second job on that brand new bit, I'm either running it too fast or I'm wearing out the tip. I'm not really sure. But I did get a little bit of chatter. I've got to clean up, take a brush to it and clean it up. But yeah, I had to, like I say, I had to cut it out of my scroll saw. 
And if you've ever used a scroll saw, I'm new at it. And you get a lot of this when you're going around there just trying to get it right. And get it as close as you can to the ring. And then I had to sand it. Um, I took a belt sander. <laughs> Since I don't own one, I took my belt sander. I turned it upside down, turned it on. On my picnic picture, I out front sat there and I ran the edge over it while it was turned upside down, trying to clean it up. But yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm happy with the work. The file came from Etsy and uh, yeah, pretty cool. We got an eagle here. So came out pretty nice. The machine, once again, when I started it up today for the first time, I homed it and my Y was sticking. I don't know. Like I kept screwing with it, playing with candles, shutting it off, doing this, doing that. Finally, it started working. So I'm not sure why, what the bug is. With it, I've got like a 25 foot USB cord that goes from over there behind the camera to the machine. I've done that, used that before, it's been fine. On my other skull that I did, I took some dark blue stain and I went over and stained it and I wiped off the excess. So once that cures overnight, then I'll take some clear shellac and I'll go over it and make it nice and shiny. But that came out pretty good. But yeah, the bits done good, the machine done good, other than when I first started up. I was having a hiccup, and I don't know if you noticed in the video, but when I got my clearing pass done right at the very end, my Harbor Freight dust extractor shut off on me like 30 seconds early. It's like, it's not on the timer. What the hell? I didn't blow a breaker, so I guess it overheated. It's never done that before. I guess it got too hot, so I left it off for 10 or 15 minutes while I changed over to my finished bed, and then I flipped it on. It was fine. I couldn't find a reset on it anywhere, but I don't know what happened. I didn't kick a breaker. Not really sure what happened, but it must have got hot, I guess. So, I don't know. Today wasn't my day, I guess. I don't know. That's how it goes. Some, sometimes you have great days, sometimes you don't. But, yeah, please like, subscribe, share. Until the next one, everybody have an awesome day and happy printing. Later, guys.